everybody and welcome back to my channel and a big hello and welcome to you if you are new. If you are new, my name is Tabby, I try to make three videos a week all about kind of come shopping with me, hauls, interiors, vlogs, all sorts of things. So if you fancy sticking around, there's a little red subscribe button somewhere down here, please do click, it's completely free and I'd absolutely love to have you here. <laughs> so today I thought I'd do a Poundland haul. I don't know about you but I've been absolutely loving all kind of like the garden party stuff in Poundland. My plan is, it's my little boy's birthday is right at Christmas so I thought maybe I could kind of start throwing him a summery birthday party instead in which case it would be planned and all these decorations will come into their own. That was a long explanation to give me reason to buy crap wasn't it? <laughs> so without do the first thing I picked up was a token is it a token I think that's a token and a what's that a macaw I want to say it's a macaw I have no idea I'm not very good at ornithology <laughs> I just don't know my birds. So this is a toucan. I think this is a macaw. I'm not really sure. It's Timmy Mallet's bird, isn't it? If you remember Timmy Mallet, we're showing our age. The little tummies just kind of pop out in a honeycomb um, ball. And yeah, I just thought these were really cute. I saw them hanging actually in the window of Sally's Hair and Beauty um, and they look absolutely adorable. So I picked a couple up because there will be an occasion one day where I need to use them. I also picked up this paper garland. These are like little Japanese lanterns and little flowers along the string that holds them up which I thought again was really cute. It's two meters long. I think there's two yellow lanterns, two red lanterns. Um, you can't put candles or anything in them because obviously they're all paper and cardboard, which is great for eco stuff. Not great if you put a candle in it because you're gonna get in trouble. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really sweet just for, for brightening up a dark orifice. I did buy a couple of inflatables. Um, I got a shark, but he doesn't look very big, does he? inflates to 45 centimetres. 45 centimetres isn't very big, but um, I thought it'd be great for Dolph's paddling pool and a little ball. And now this beach ball is lovely. It's got all rose gold confetti inside of it. Should we blow it up? Let's blow it up. Oh my God, the valve's not very good. This is not working out for me. Let's get a pump. There's something very satisfying about this. Oh yeah, baby. This is beautiful. Look at it. I am very easily pleased, but um, yeah, I think that's lovely with all like the little coppery rose gold bits inside of it. Gives a bit of class to your old beach ball, doesn't it? <laughs> Not bad for a quid. What? <laughs> There we go. Oh, he's quite cute. I like him. Dolph will absolutely love this. He has so much fun with inflatables, but it does say not suitable for children under 36 months due to small parts. So please read the warnings on these before you give them to especially young children. So I saw these and these reminded me that I'd seen something on, it was either Instagram or Pinterest for craft. Um, these are sharing platters. I don't want to share my platter with anybody, but I do want to get Dolph more into arts and crafts. So people had used these to like divide up craft material to put like on the table to try and keep it a bit tidier. Um, and I really like that idea. So when I saw them, it just reminded me, um, I must go back and have a look and see exactly what it was that they put in these. I'm sure I could use my own imagination, but it's not as good as other people's imagination. So I picked Dolph up this little box of Peppa Pig tissues. I thought they were so cute. They've got all the Peppa Pig characters on. Bless him, he's suffering with hay fever and not even Pyroton seems to stop his nose from running. Um, so it, th there is literally a box of tissues in every room in this house. Um, but like the saddo I am, I like to get them with a, a theme that matches the rooms. Does anybody else do that? Like pick tissue boxes because they match the room? Let me know. I love 
these. These were a pound each and I got them for Dolph because he, we've spending a lot of time out in the garden. I am not blessed in gardening and our plants are not doing great. We did actually plant a yucca tree, you know, like a palm tree. Um, and I think there's one leaf remaining alive on it. We still cling to the hope that the yucca will live, but don't think it's going to. Um, <laughs> so to bring a bit of colour to the garden, I thought these were great. Um, these two are just like little butterflies. They're on like little mini springs. I don't know if you can see that, but it just allows them to, to move a little bit like a butterfly. And then this one was just a little snail. Um, and he's got a little windmill in the middle. Do check these though, because a lot of these actually in Poundland didn't go around, they were all kind of stuck, so make sure you check them before you buy them. This is called an animal steak, it's by Wilson Gregory Gardening Specialists. Um, but yeah, I thought these were lovely, so these will add colour where my gardening lacks creativity or skill. <laughs> I got this fruit shaped ice cube tray. This is so satisfying. These are really squidgy, which is a great idea as well, because you know how ice cubes get stuck in the train. You end up like whacking it on stuff to try and get them out. These are brilliant because you can just push them from the back and pop them out, which let's face it, that should be on that Snapchat most satisfying thing, shouldn't it? We don't have any candles around the house, but I do like to burn a candle in our fireplace because we don't tend to use the fire as a log burner. I use it to stash and light my candles. Um, so I found these extra long matches, which are pretty impressive. Um, look at the length of that bad boy. Uh, I hope this would help me get into the fire and light my candle without burning my fingers off like I'm currently doing. So um, yeah, these are incredibly useful and pretty hard to find. You don't see big matches that often. I think Aldi is the only other place I've seen them. So grab them while you can. What else have we got? I picked up a couple of bits from the craft section for Dolph. Um, these are just some large kind of foam shaped flowers. Again, I'm trying to get them out in the garden and learn about nature and all that sort of stuff. So I thought we'd do some craft with these. There's lots and lots in there. I think there's 25 in there. Does say not suitable for children under three. Dolph's two and a half, but I'm thinking, you know, as long as I'm supervising, he'll be absolutely fine. This is great. This is a Crayola tissue assortment safari edition. Um, I am hoping to take Dolph to the safari park at some point during the kind of school holidays. I booked a week off work and I'm so excited because I get him all to myself for a whole week. Um, so I thought maybe I'd take him to the safari park. Daddy will be there too. Um, and then we could do some like safari park crafts when we get home to learn about the animals and stuff. So yeah, those were great. And if not, you can use them to kind of wrap up like delicate presents and stuff like that. I couldn't resist these adhesive gems because they're all rainbow colours. I love to edit birthday cards. I've said this before. I love to add on like little personalised touches. So if you've got like a card, let's like have bought some cards. You know when I go to parish shop, I always buy cards. So like if you've got a card, you can just like stick some of these onto it. And it just gives it that little something extra, like a bit of a personalised touch. So I thought those were lovely, and especially as they're rainbow coloured. Um, some hang-up small oval hooks. Just because I keep thinking that I need these, and then when I'm there, I can't remember why I need them, so don't buy them, and then I get home and remember why I need them. So I bought them for the next time that I remember I need them. <laughs> I got some lovely 70s cocktail party umbrellas. Oh my gosh, did you used to love these as a child? Oh, I've got a broken one. Oh no, I should always check the packet. There's a squishy one in there. But there's loads of different coloured ones in there. And if you're offering people drinks, whether it be in the summer or Christmas, it doesn't matter. These make drinks taste better. <laughs> And certainly look better and kids love them everybody loves them they're only made of paper and wood so they're not kind of going to harm the environment at all um, apart from maybe that little tiny rubber band and this little rubber band but those are the only two bits in there but oh my gosh I used to love these I still do love these <laughs> oh aren't they fabulous they're a little bit there's a little bit of crusty stuff dropping off there. I don't know if you could see. Can you can you see this crust? You'd have to be careful that didn't like land in your drink and stuff. But oh, these just these are just ace, aren't they? These just make 
a Del Boy cocktail. That's what you've got to do. Like, we love only fools and horses in this house. And, um, yeah, it means maybe one day I can surprise my husband with a full-on Del Boy cocktail with cherries and umbrellas. The lot. <laughs> I got this splash-proof beach bag. Um, I thought this would be great. It says it's for wet swimwear. Every time I take Dolph swimming, I always just wrap his swimming costume in a towel. Um and then it soaks through and everything the bag gets wet and I end up having to wash everything which isn't environmentally friendly so I thought maybe one of these would be great because I could put all the wet swimwear in here separate it out from everything else and then I don't have to do so much washing so for a pound I thought it was worth a go will also be helpful like on the beach and stuff like that for putting stuff in we are only going on holiday to Wales this year because we've obviously got pooch um and we like to take him away with us on holiday because he loves holidays too but this could be great for you know sandy socks and shoes and all that sort of stuff so it's gonna get used i got Dolph a big bottle of giant bubbles <laughs> we've got a bubble machine he's got like a bubble lawnmower um oh god we've got so many things that blow bubbles that we get through rock loads of this stuff um so yeah i thought this would be great there's a liter of bubble mixture in here i do try and get him to be a bit like frugal with using it because you know what kids are like they get it everywhere but this bottle is recyclable um so yeah you could pop this in the recycling and it's fine but yeah we get through loads of bubbles we absolutely love bubbles in the summer they are just the best thing <laughs> poundland have the best array of stickers i don't know if every poundland in the is the same but has has like a big spinny thing and it's got so many different stickers on it i love to pick these up for dogs they keep him entertained for ages so this time they're two for a pound i got him this set of like different cars and transports and then this one which is all pirate ships and parrots and treasure maps and crabs and i got a, a very exciting a compression wrap it, it says it's for an ankle but i need it for my hand i've got pain right here that's like really agony and i don't know what's causing it but i'm gonna put that on that even though it's for a foot but i've got some battenbergs a big fan of these everyone in our house is a fan of battenbergs they are just the best cake the best <laughs> They actually do a pink Battenberg. Has anybody seen that? It's like pink and green inside with bright pink marzipan. That one is also awesome. It's like apple flavoured. If you see them, try them. They are great. <laughs> this is super pretty. I looked at it for ages because it's just so nice. It's like pink magic mermaid sequins. Um, what I decided, I looked at it for ages because I was like, what can I use it for? I really have nowhere to put it. Then I thought, ah. Oh, I've got a really annoying habit of keep like putting my makeup on the floor in front of the mirror. Really bad because I don't want to get makeup on the carpet. So I just thought I could just leave this open by the mirror and just put my makeup back in there. And that would be the perfect excuse to buy it. This was interesting. This is a Nutrifix dry shampoo. I am a little bit surprised at how expensive Batiste can be now. Um, so I just thought I'd give this one a go. I know the Batiste can is like this big and this can is like this big. But, you know, I thought I'd try it because it looked posh and quite nicely packaged. So it must be good, right? <laughs> But, you know, if it is good, then it could be a keeper. It smells a bit more like hairspray. Like, the Batiste ones smell a lot better. Um, it is, like, nice, fresh scent. I do really like it. Um, but we'll see how we go with it. Last but not least, I picked up these Fern McCann Dramatic Lashes. Now, in one of my last hauls, I picked up some Fern McCann Lashes. I don't know if those were more natural ones. Oh, hold on a minute. I've got it all confused. Okay. I don't know the difference between these yellow Fern McCann lashes and the kind of turquoisey coloured ones that I bought before. These two are the same. These are London Bay and these are natural lashes and these are dramatic lashes. Calabasas Crush. Um, I really like these ones at the moment. These ones with kind of the thicker bits and thinner bits and longer bits and shorter bits. Um, and then these ones are very natural and what I liked the most about these is can you see like at the inner corners the lashes are a lot lot shorter um, I hate it when I can feel like that inner bit or the outer bit just touching or oh, that feeling is just the worst it's like a little cold wet slimy 
I hate that sensation. So I'm hoping that because these have got shorter lashes on kind of like the inner corners that I won't feel them like poking me in the eye. I'm sure I'm just putting my eyelashes on wrong, but I need to learn how to do it better. But I just, every time I do it, I get this like little flappy bit in the corner that just irritates the life out of me. So we'll see if those work any better. So as you know, I always like to pick up um, emergency cards in Poundland. This is this month's selection. These were two for a pound. So I like to pick them up so that they can be used for kind of boys or girls. So I got this one with a great dinosaur on a bike that says, have an awesome birthday. I thought he was cool. I got this great holographic one that just says happy birthday with like rainbows and mermaids and birds and all sorts of things on there. That's so pretty. Um, I got this one with just loads of colorful balloons. It's, it's quite glittery. I don't know if that's showing up on the, ca uh, on the camera. But it's quite sparkly, which I thought was nice. And then this last one is great. This is all like jungle animals. I just think Poundland's cards are really nice. Like, if you go into certain card shops, other people get to kind of know their style of card and where you've got the cards from. And sometimes I just think it's really nice to send something a bit different. And Poundland and B&M and Home Bargains all have card sections that are definitely worth a route through. Um, so yeah, this is this month's selection. So that's everything I got from Poundland this month. I hope you liked all the bits I've got. I am trying to cut down a little bit on plastic stuff or stuff that is like single use. So most of this stuff, if not all of it, is stuff that I will use again and again and again. We'll get a lot of use and a lot of fun out of. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video and I'll see you again in my next one. Take care guys, bye.